Uh, now the experiment we are going to perform is or uh, this will be fifth practical right so inverter CMOS inverter will observe whether it is working correctly or not or anything again the second thing we are going to do is we need to see the transfer characteristics of CMOS. So, we'll close the first thing. Let's edit. <coughs> New design. This is your practical number five. Okay, adding the libraries. Adding the libraries, we are going to get these devices needs to be added. Then, uh, second thing is miscellaneous, it needs to be added again. Again, the spice elements, spice commands needs to be added. Again, the spice elements needs to be added. So we have added all the library files here. Going to cell, new view. Keeping the same as default credentials. Let's go to the inverter doing an inverter is a simple task but we need to interpret all the things which can be got as an output from the inverter other thing we will be needing is a ground and a VDD this a VDD in a ground the another thing this VDD we need to provide a reference to it that's why we will be needing a different VDD here and a different ground here so that in spice elements voltage source we know why to put this right again just the connections are remaining best by connecting the wires we are going to connect this now inputs inputs are going to be can give as an input okay and I can take as an output from here as just here right giving an input I can give in um, any kind of input just the inverse I'm going to get I can give a square, square wave I can give a clock so configuring my input is also an important thing here I don't need the DC instead of bit streams I can give zeros once zero one and again the pulse width is going to vary for getting a clear view at the output right here I can connect it from here I can take this now just we need to connect these and it will be done yeah so wire and directly connect also here and there is a method through which you can connect it it is the net cap 
using the net label we can without connecting the actual wires we can connect so this is it for the first type of output we want the setup simulations needs to add certain things which are transfer or transient analysis needs to be done in general we need to add the library file as per specified in the transient analysis we need to do it with uh, some or nanoseconds in order to take the outputs I need to give the spice commands giving it to print voltages I need that voltages from the inputs as well as from the output in order to compare these things okay so we are done save the design we'll run it we'll see what kind of outputs we are going to get so this is the output we are going to get we can get split up and here is the output so this is the input zero zero one one zero one zero zero one one the output comes out to be exactly inverse of this right this is the first part actually we are going to do or we were going to do it and we have got this the second part is we need to change some things what are the changes we are going to do is we are going to change slightly into our analysis type we want to transfer characteristics so that instead of this putting here we can do I need to change this type of input to uh, DC1 and I need to scale this by defining it as a parameter called V in and then I am going to scale all this into the range of 0 to 5 with a step of 0 0.1 you can vary it with any step but for getting the fine details of each point we are going to do this in general we have added instead of doing a transient analysis here I need to do a DC sweep analysis in order to define the source or parameter name first of all I need to add a parameter with name V in with a value of 5 volts just ok it the DC sweep analysis needs 0 to 5 volts with a step of 0 0.1 and this is sweep type linear these are the settings we are going to do the main important thing is type of analysis you are carrying out here is a DC analysis so this print voltage needs to do a DC analysis that's why this is the main step just save it just run it we'll observe the output as the transfer characteristics so this is it
we can see here the input we are going to vary from 0 volts to 5 volts the output we are going to get when input is 0 output is 5 input is 5 output is 0 now you can take the data points and just find out where the tangent lies from that we can analyze the you can do the noise margin analysis by just putting the tangents and uh, getting the points then you will get the readings of VOH, VIH, VOL, VIL taking the differences noise margins can be calculated so this is it the next part will be mostly on sequential circuits like SR latches, flip-flops and all things so I hope you are enjoying thank you for watching again subscribing the channel is just a piece of advice you may follow it or not thank you very much